Hi, and welcome to NNUNET tutorial. My name is Moin Rasulinejad Musavi. I'm a research fellow for AI Lab here at Mayo Clinic. And together, you and me are going to learn how to do inference using NNUNET, which is a popular and reliable segmentation tool for medical image data sets. In previous episodes, I showed you how to install and then train a segmentation model using NNUNET. And today we want to see how to infer on unknown scans and how to compute desired metrics by NNUNET. Please watch this tutorial and follow the instruction and I hope you enjoy it. Running inference for NNUNET is easy if we follow these three main steps. First, we need to create an output folder. It is recommended to be in the task folder, but you can put it everywhere that you want. So we want a folder that we put our predictions and uh, computed metrics in that folder, known as an output folder. Then. We just need to easily use the inference command that is on any NUNET GitHub page. So there are multiple options based on which model do you want to use. If you're going to use a pre-trained model or you want to do ensemble, but here I'll show you one a simple example that how to use this command but rest would be easy if you just get the concept here. And the third step is to calculate metrics by running a Python file on an NUNET GitHub page, which contains info for calculating metrics based on your demand. And you can have some of the default metrics that are in that file named evaluator dot pi or you can customize and add some advanced metrics okay let's go and follow these three steps so first I, I'll open my terminal and please do not forget for any unit before doing anything activate your virtual environment and I'm going to create a folder in my task that I have trained so I choose task 509 multi-organ. I'm going to make a folder pred underscore n unit. And I'll create this folder for outputs and prediction results. Now we go to and in UNET main page and click on run inference to find a command and I copy this command and paste it into terminal. So the configuration can be 3D full res, it can be 3D cascade, it can be 2D. Here I've trained a 3D full res and I choose fold number 5 and the task ID 509 and output folder would be um, the pred underscore any unit that I just created. And then input folder is images TS. Now everything is good to go. We press enter run this command as you see it's loading the fold number five that I've trained and it's doing its job now any unit is predicting However, because it's time consuming, um, I will interrupt the prediction process. And I already did that for all test images. And 
I have them in my folder. So I think that's enough to show how it works. The next step was computing the metrics. So again, going to NN unit page, NN unit, and then clicking on the evaluation and evaluator.py. You'll see the metrics that are assigned as default metrics and advanced metrics. So I'll copy this command and I go to a Jupyter Lab notebook. I'll paste that there. And if you uh, run this cell, you will see something like this. So, and then you just need to add these few lines of code where you have to define the folder for predictions and grand truth. And then we run the command and we'll see a summary.json that has the results in it. So now if I show the task folder, so we have the predictions in a folder called preds underscore net. Now we'll see um, all the eight test images have been predicted as you'll see here. And then the metrics are calculated in a file named summary.json. So I'm going to show you the first 50 lines of this file. And as you see, the metrics for all test images for each label are calculated. So I also show you the last 50 lines of this file to see how does it look like, but they're the same. That's a long file, so I just showed the first 50 and the last 50 lines just to get an idea of how the completed metrics look like in this file. I hope you've enjoyed these three episodes of NNUNet tutorial series and it helped your project and saved you time. I'm happy that you've learned how to install, train, and test your segmentation model for NNUNet. Thank you.